Welcome back to the channel. I am Andy and we are going to be talking about the PS5 Pro Dragon Style. Now I know that a lot of people have been testing the PlayStation 5 games and they've been awesome and some of them have been more than they expected but I think it's time for all of us that have the PS5 Pro to actually take a back seat and to go into the previous generation catalog and start trying out those games. All the games that were made in a really good fashion and to be able to see the difference just in those games because I think that is going to be the difference between PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4. And so far I got a couple games in mind, Days Gone, is definitely one of them. I would like to see Evil Within 1, Evil Within 2, more uh, immersive. So those are uh, three games right there. Any game that was made during the PlayStation 4 era needs to be analyzed and needs to be appreciated because if there's a game that you like during the PS4 Pro era, PS4 Pro or PS4 era, give it a shot. See the difference, you know? Make a video about it. Now, there's something about my box that had me questioning. I know you guys are going to think I'm really onto something, but when I looked at my box, I made a video. There was a number seven. Is it possible that that number seven means that that is a nanometer seven chip? Just, just theoretically thinking about it. Maybe. I don't know, but I'm not going to say it is. So with that being said, nanometer seven uh that's what i thought when they were making these new consoles they're gonna have the nanometer seven and you know tell me if i'm wrong comment thank you for all the views thank you for all the subs because i did not expect this to start going around the way it is thank you thank you so now most important you have to understand the ps4 games back then had limitations okay and we still enjoyed them we weren't so fidgety about the 30 fps error we were just happy to see the graphics now to go back to those games you have to understand something when they made those games back in that time they really knew what they were doing they had really good ideas making games a lot of the games and i was talking about sean Layden, how he had a good vision for gaming and it wasn't a it was a very immersive entertaining gaming generation every game that was made was made with with good animations good frame rates uh action packed storytelling everything they they put their heart and soul into these games now these games are going to be generated half AI, half creators, and they're going to use this as a way to test out whether we, the consumers, are going to accept the new AI way of designing games or if we're not. The sales numbers are being documented, they're being recorded, and that's something important to understand. They're actually seeing what we do in terms of buying these consoles, in terms of the games that we buy, they are documenting whether we are buying physical copies or digital copies. And that's something you have to understand. Every time you buy a digital copy, there's a check mark list for the digital games. That's a win for digital this time around. That's a win for physical. So me personally, I'm on the physical side because I want to see the physical come back in such a collaboration that they can never be threatened anymore to be um, done and away with, you know? Basically, they want to make physical copies extinct. Now, I know in the movie, in the movie industry, the movie field, the videos, everything is digital. You go to watch a movie and you have a certain cable provider that has the option for you to buy the movie or rent the movie. So, wouldn't you rather buy the physical copy, not buy, not rent, if you rent the movie, it's $20. If you buy the movie, it's $25. Technically, you don't own the movie because it's a digital copy, but they say you do. 
So that to me is a, a huge manipulation and, and a lot of people would rather just rent the movie, pay for it, and watch it and not see it again. But now they're spending money. They're spending money on something they never could own, where we could own our stuff. I think the word lazy is an understatement. I think it's more of a sloth appeal, meaning people are becoming so slow and so uh, lethargic that they can't even put a CD into a DVD player anymore or a console, um, we've become, and, and I'm to blame for this too because it was easier for me to sit on the gaming chair and just push play. I paid for the game or I paid for the movie, I push play, that's it, that's it. But I lost that enthusiasm, I lost the enthusiasm of actually owning something when I went to go purchase the Black Ops 6 game and I had the actual physical copy in my hand with the collector's edition, that was huge to me. I felt like I was uh, winning something back for all the times I lost spending money. So we're going to talk about that. I'm going to bring up one more thing. The PS5 Pro, now that I think about it, when all these unboxings were revealed on YouTube, when they pull out that DualSense controller, you always have someone saying that it should have been the DualSense Edge. Uh, hint, hint, Sony, you know, when they're saying it should have been the DualSense Edge, that would give it more of an edge for people to buy, hands down. It would have been so much more exciting to open up your PS5 standard and have an extra DualSense Edge controller in there. It would have just felt more premium, and they could have done that. They could have done that, but they chose not to. They could have had the 30th anniversary flooded every single country, but they didn't choose to do that. So now we're stuck with literally the choice that we have. To be honest with you, I have the disk drive and I have the covers. But I have the stand. I have the covers, the original covers that come with the PS5 Pro. I have the stand. So I would probably have a uh, issue maybe with the 30th anniversary, maybe not, maybe not, because I can just pop the disk drive on there and the cover will just go right on there, end of story. So it's it's all the same, it doesn't matter. So now, guys, I think it's a great time to jump into games like uh, Days Gone, The Witcher 3. You gotta remember, these games were already polished back in their day, but give Witcher 3 a shot, Days Gone, uh, I was thinking about Metro Exodus, if that would actually be a more refined game. Because uh, that game came out during, I think, the PS4 era and the PS5 era. I, I don't, if, I, if I say something and I'm not accurate, just let me know and I'll bop my head. That, that's, that's it. That's all I got to say. So, um, those are games right there. What, what, else, what else could we try out during the PS4 era? Try Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. See if it's more uh, crisper. See if it's more sharper. See if the frame rates are more than, than what, what the 60, you know? Check that game out. Check out the uh, PSVR 1. Don't just play the PSVR 2. Try the PSVR 1 and see if that has any kind of uh, benefits, any kind of upgrades. It's just, it's just about like going in and just trying to see how much of a benefit this PS5 Pro has. Now remember guys, I'm working till Tuesday. I have Tuesday, Wednesday off. So that's when I'm gonna open up the damn thing, put my four terabyte card in there. That included the two terabytes that's internally into the PS5. That makes it six. I'm probably gonna swap. I'm gonna have to uh, transfer all my games from my PlayStation 5 to the PlayStation 5 Pro. And then what I was thinking about doing was taking my original PS5, connecting it, keeping it connected to the same TV, but taking my PS5 Pro, connecting it to a different TV. In my room, I have two TVs, and make a video where I can show you guys what I'm noticing about both games on the same screenshot in the same area. I have two of the same TVs, same calibration settings, same everything. So you can see for yourself what is the difference. If, if the hue is off, the color is off by one. It's just because it's a different. It's it's the same TV model, same year, everything. It's just one TV might not be exactly like the other. But who cares? The point is, is I want to show you guys all the sharpness. I want to show you guys all the hype that everybody's talking about right now. Because games like Days Gone, 
games like Resident Evil 7, games like The Witcher 3, uh, with all the DLC in mind, I really think those are games that you could go back to and truly be immersed again. Seriously, because those are games that were uh, tidal waves that are no longer uh, surfed by uh, surfers. I mean, people are still playing the games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People are still playing the games, but it's still one of those games that is basically um, a gem that is hidden in the minefields or in, uh, you know buried in the dirt. So now, what we have to understand is, I give you guys the trophy. I give you guys the key. It's up to you. Everybody that's got the PS5 Pro, you all, you have all the time in the world to play the PlayStation 5 games. But what you should really do is you should go back to a PlayStation 4 game that you truly couldn't bear. One game that was just unplayable. And play that game and see what the PlayStation 5 Pro does for it. Because a lot of people on the internet right now are praising the fact that their PS4 games are actually much more a delight to to play now there are always going to be something that is going to pop up and you're going to see it and you're going to say well you know that's sort of an imperfection this and that that's for digital foundry to uh analyze and to dissect and all that stuff don't worry about that stuff let them tell you exactly what's going on because they that's 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 their livelihood is finding the glitches in games and i can see the developers some of them like the digital foundry and some of them sometimes can feel as though digital foundry can be meddling into their profits because of you know one word is said and, and maybe 20,000 people won't buy the game because of that one word so you know you have to understand every single criteria behind the conversation so um, now what I am gonna say about the PS5 Pro is this you already have 80 games that are gonna be available right now to test out on the PS5 Pro Enhanced. You have games that are being added to the list, okay? And when people are playing these games, whether it's PlayStation 4, 4 Pro Enhanced, or PlayStation 5, PlayStation 5 Pro Enhanced, they're already saying that even when the patch is not added, that they're noticing that the gameplay is smoother and it's running a lot better. So the PS5 Pro is already doing its work, but imagine when the developers step in and they say, okay, this looks good, but we can really tweak this up. What does that tell you? That tells you that they could do so much more with the PS5 Pro than you've already seen so far because they know that they now have the power that they need to make what they need. Remember, this is still PS5 generation. We're not in PS6 generation. So before PS6 generation, before the Xbox, Triple X, Series X, Duplex, whatever you want to call it, when that comes out suplex, then we are going to see the new generation. But as of right now, you have the PS5 Pro. Okay, now I need to talk about this. You have the graphics cards coming out next year. When those graphics cards come out next year, just be prepared to be annihilated when it comes to comparing to a uh, NVIDIA 5090 or a 5090 Ti or a 6000 series. This PlayStation 5 Pro will not be keeping up with that. And they will have a new technology introduced, maybe one or two or three, several technologies introduced into the card, into the features that we have not seen before because this is what they do. They always have the most latest, greatest technology introduced and it takes quite a few years for PlayStation or Xbox to incorporate that technology. So be prepared for that, that that is going to happen and also that that is going to make more and more people levitate towards those cards because they're getting more features, they're getting more power and they're getting more creativity for their work on their social media, their YouTubes, whatever, Twitch, you name it. That card is going to be huge next year. Now, when the card comes out, if the card is costing four to five hundred dollars more, and if it is twice as powerful as the 4090, then that's a no-brainer. You're paying a you're paying a big tax, a five hundred dollar tax, you know, maybe a huge tax. <laughs> so what you want to do is you want to say to yourself, in this situation, you want to say, hey, am I going to enjoy the PS5 Pro 
Am I going to enjoy the graphics cards? Of course, we're gonna enjoy everything. But what we're gonna see, this AI generation is gonna turn into what's gonna become the norm for next generation. If too many people are buying digital copies, that next console will for more than 110% be a digital console. Again, right now this is just a test. Maybe they'll come out with a PS5 Pro with a digital console built in next year. Because if enough people start buying the physical, remember, whatever people buy is whatever the industry continues selling. So if people stop buying physical copies, guess what? Now they're gonna continue to create digital consoles. And when the digital consoles are gonna be sold, more majority of people are gonna be buying digital, they're gonna be losing out because they're not gonna have that nostalgia from back in the day, you know? They're not gonna have that nostalgia from back in the day. That nostalgia from back in the day can come back but you have to believe in yourself, you have to believe in the community, you have to believe in everything that the gaming industry has in store for us if we invest more into what we truly want to keep as an entity to gaming. All right, guys, thank you so much. I appreciate you, and thank you for the subs. You guys are awesome. Let me tell you something. You got a PS5 Pro, get your ass over to that console, Play some of the PlayStation 4 games and just give me some comments on what you've noticed on your games. Do that research, have fun, and I will talk to you next time, Dragon Style, baby.